I'll say it anyways. Because I know how many people... Just for you folks. Uh, we're recording this for the bonus material. What? Oh. We, we did record it a little late, so we missed some of the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. there was a uh, there was an apology for some of the comments and... <laughs> Yeah, we 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 have hurt. We're butt hurt in between uh, between our each other. What did you do? <laughs> did you spill Pepsi on my board game? No, no, no. I hit the mic stand and it started to move, it's and I was like, "Oh no, it's gonna it's crush!" Gonna oh, jeez. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> your precious board game is fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the the Simpsons, like the Simpsons, where he's like, don't, "Homer, don't hit my table then I, I didn't hit your, your precious table." table. <laughs> uh, for people listening to our um, our weird show. bonus episode, we uh, we're actually recording this in my makeshift dining room, and we're and that's using... why it sounds like sometimes Wes is in a Zoom call because you know. And just Stop fucking saying Zoom call. Zoom. <laughs> Shh, fuck you. <laughs> anyway, uh, they're actually using uh, a s- couple of my board games to block the two mics that we have because my booming voice will be caught by the other mic. Mr. Um, theater projector over here does not even really need a mic. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> mostly. <funny. laughs> I don't need a mic. I just yell out to the world, and it gets it odd. Well, like, well, even or just or watching either pen or teller, whatever the silent one. Is. Even just watching it get recorded, <laughs> pen, pen or teller, whatever the silent one is, it's, isn't it's teller. Teller, yeah, he doesn't need a mic. He blows out every mic he talks. Okay, so teller is the one who's silent. So you're talking about pen. Pen. No. So you were wrong. Yeah. So pen. Pen is the you asked, you asked. I said me. whatever the guy isn't. Oh, so. you asked. I thought you asked for the other guy. I was just no, being a Pen is the way. talking guy. Yeah. He's the former juggler. Yeah. That's that's how you would typeify him. The former juggler. Well, he says that all, himself, all the time oh, that, on his own. That's how he identifies himself. Yeah, watch oh, yeah, Fool yeah. Us. Uh, okay. He, uh, yeah, no, way back when he was a, he was a juggler and then he met, uh, Teller oh, and they okay. were, uh, they created this team where, uh, Penn takes all the focus while Teller is doing a lot doing of the tricks. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause even while he was juggling, he would be loud mouth and shouting things and yeah, you know, shouting comments back to the, like to the crowd and such. And meanwhile, Teller was a very silent musician and he didn't really have the, He's a very good uh, Sorry, magician. <laughs> we don't know. He might play instruments. <laughs> but he was uh he was very, very like as much as he has confidence, he's not he's not that a charismatic person. He's more of a like the quiet is what works for him, whereas and that's why Penn really controls the the, the speech. He's a controlling person. Yeah, I, I do also appreciate the way they, they use Teller's, uh, how Teller knows how to play his character as a silent type type yes, of thing. Yeah. It's actually really great. And it's amazing because there's a lot of times where they do like those gags where they're about to, where he's about to say something and Penn's kind of like ah da 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 yeah, like just cut off yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as if Penn's been keeping him quiet or like in the Simpsons like, I'm not the first teller <laughs> <laughs> I remember that apparently he's quite chatty in real life yeah he's just not um, show chatty and it's funny because like on Fool Us uh, he gets he gets up there and sometimes he'll whisper how they did the trick because they don't want to give away how the magician does the trick no obviously so, well. it's part of the so um, even though part of their magic is revealing how they're doing the tricks, but right, but they don't want to do it for other people. Yeah, so somebody invents like, a trick, well, and they do an excellent one where he does a series of tricks in like like a, in like a side view. Yeah, so he's hiding everything on the other side, and then he does the entire routine again, flip, so you can see. Exactly oh, you're talking about the uh, the the cigarette, the palming, yeah, the cigarette, the cigarette. The cigarette. beautifully done. Anyone hasn't seen it, look that up. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, so like, but on Fool Us, they all, he's all, like, Penn will try and, like, be like, um, he'll normally be like, like, he'll use, like, words like, um, you might be a Jedi up there, kind of thing, so that indicates using a force, so forcing a card, forcing a thought, forcing, yeah, um, yeah. or he'll, words like, he has all these little codes to it, and if the person doesn't get it, Teller has it written down, sometimes you can't even say that stuff without really revealing it. I'm really big ma- magician, of, like a magic aficionado, so I kind of like know a lot of these things. So sometimes Teller will go up there with a drawing of how they feel the trick was done, or written out how he they feel the trick was done. And sometimes when they go up there, he'll like show them that, and they'll be like, uh, "Oh," he'll be like, "No, that's not how I did that." And then because they only get one guess, 
if that's not how it happened, then they fooled us. Well, no, they, they, they guess a few times sometimes. They're not allowed to guess a few times, though. They're I've, I've seen to, them do that. They say that they can only officially put one, and so sometimes Penn will For the shield it out and be like, we think you did it a few different ways, and then he'll start to be like, we he think you might have done this, but I've actually might have done that. I've, I've actually seen them do the <laughs> thing where it's like, well, if you didn't do this, and you didn't do this... Then you fooled us. Like he's he's, yeah. he's, he's made couple, like two yeah. guesses. Yeah, but like in like they pretty well cemented it down that they get one guess. I think maybe because unfairness, because they've seen everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, but like because there's a, like especially in the later seasons, it's been a lot of like um, we did it this way, and then they'll be like, nope, didn't do it that way, and then they'll be like, well, then you fooled us, and they automatically go to it. But then you can see him talking to him on the stage and being like, oh, and then totally you see him go. And then, so that's how you did the trick. Like, keep on run audio. Nobody saw what you just did. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> but well, in all fairness, this they're they're just getting the bonus episode. Yeah, we, we, we this is about us about talking. This. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, just bonus stuff. <laughs> bonus stuff. Learning and you. Eventually, <laughs> we'll use this as kind of like I don't know. We'll do something fun with it, like really, really fun with it, like. Well, I feel like this is where we can do, like, addendums and add additional details and, like, why we said certain things. Yeah, and not even just that, like, but, like, um, I know a lot of people do, like, mini cases, so I don't mind doing a mini case or something once in a while. Something that I can't fill a full hour with. I, I also like random bullshit. Yeah. It's your specialty. It, well, it is my specialty, yeah. Like, just, I don't know, because that's kind of what these feel like. Yeah. Like, we, they get to see into the mind of, of us. I... Well, I thought you meant the killers. I'm like, yeah, that's one way. Yeah, at. Uh, the right. killers. Um, I'd also what like about to the add, killers. I really like their music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd really like to add <laughs> that um, I purposely try not to tell people where we're from. Yeah, this is why I've kept trying to like middle Dakota thing. I started yeah. running with the Middle Dakota thing, and then this episode was a lot of the U.S. is messed up. The U.S. is messed up, and I'd be like, thanks. Token. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's there's a reason for that, right? Like, yeah, I, if... You know, I, I don't want people randomly coming and finding us and shit yeah. like that. <laughs> the other part of that is we don't have a U.S. perspective. Is this true? That's why I kind of made that separation. Well, I'm pretty sure they know we're from Canada. Mm-hmm. Well, we previously said. Yeah, yeah well, so Canada... I didn't think that was... The word... Like, Canada Town, USA, that that was the joke that was supposed to let people know we're in Canada. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't want to say where in Canada, because I like the idea I think of... both of you have actually mentioned where, though. No, no he has. That, yeah. He said... I've mentioned Ontario. Yeah. You've also said You've our said town. The town. Have I said Ontario? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've said exactly where I said that I was from Penetang. Yeah, so. No, you've yeah, you said, said you said the town. The ta- I'll, I'll explain later, yeah, but I'm, gonna say I'm now, still going to... People can figure that out another time, but uh, yeah. we... I, I, I'll i explain later. Springfield moment. Yeah. Well, it, that was actually kind of the best part about our <laughs> the town, is it is kind of a Springfield name. Like, you yeah. can find this in many, many places. And... Yeah, and there are like long forms and short forms, like yeah, exactly. up on hill, hmm. on the river, things like that. Yeah, exactly. So, either way, that that was just a thing. I, I wanted to bring that up, just just make it a thing and all that jazz. We don't oh. want to be found. Yeah, I don't. I I don't want people to know. Don't oh, I thought we were just gonna say this is our play test, so we can practice how we actually murder people. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> This is why he's watching the show, and he's not a host. He's 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 the friend. Yeah. <laughs> Again, he would go away for Air periods of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! And you're eating your super spicy meat burrito. Yeah. I gotta eat. Just just so you all know, this that exact token at that time is not vegetarian. <laughs> Did we make a joke about him being vegetarian? No. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm just kind of curious why that came because up. Because all to- like, if oh, he's all tokens, token, then there are certain tokens that are going to be vegan I have not or vegetarian. Vegan vegetarian. I think vegan is more of a token. Vegetarian is just... Yeah. Because they're so smarmy and smug. 
Vegan? Well, vegan. And uh, just I... like that, our vegan audience went away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how, how do you tell a token? Or a token. How do you tell a vegan? You don't. They tell you. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's not a bad thing. Um, I applaud it. It's just, just so don't. My, uh, like, what? smug. I, 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 Anybody I who preaches anything. I, I can't really say a vegan is a token because, like, vegans are. It's a, lot of, a lot of the time, it's it, they're treated like the upper. The upper class type of thing, like they they're just that smugness because where they almost seem like they're above you type. To be fair, I think it is upper class because it's so expensive. I have it's a true, uh, probably. I have a really funny vegan story from when years ago when I was going on dates and so on. Like I think it's 2015, maybe. I went on a date with this girl and she chose to go to a steakhouse. So we get there, and of course we're at a steakhouse, so I'm gonna order a freaking steak. <laughs> and then I order the steak, and the girl goes away, like our waitress goes away, to go and get the food, and then she starts ripping into me, you don't care where your food comes from, and And then that's when she announces that she's a vegan, and all I can think to myself is, why would you choose to come to a steakhouse then? <laughs> And it's some sort of, like, it's obviously some sort of test. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is an insane test. Well, that's, 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 I, I hate that idea of testing someone without them knowing it type of thing. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll say this, though. I, I, I tend to do the reverse. I have a lot of friends who are uh, vegetarians and vegans and stuff like that. And For the record, as do I. It's just they're the ones who don't care. The point. It. There's a point. I'm getting to it. Stop yep. interrupting. Um, get funny. back in your fucking cage. Uh, <laughs> I I actually tend to go uh, like I'll get very meaty foods around them, <laughs> and then I'll be like, and then I'll be like, oh man, Make I sure you. do love my dead animal. <laughs> it's so oh, delicious. It, it's so good. I can feel the soul. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mm. Oh, that pig had a cute face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I remember I was with... Suddenly, uh, I'm not the asshole. Thank uh, you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I remember I was with this vegan guy, and, and uh, we're walking down the street, and, I, and uh, he, he was going on and on about being a vegan. And at one point I was like... Me? And I was going to be like... Oh, well, you know what? I was thinking about going to get a burrito. <laughs> and then he all of a sudden turns it into a, oh, you should be a vegan thing. It's like, oh, yeah, you should totally get a burrito. They have an amazing, like, vegan oh or uh, tofu burrito you can get. And it was like, no. The point was, I'm trying to be very they have an amazing, offensive to you. They have amazing to uh, tofu burrito. That sounds good, but I'm going to, you know. But you know what? They also have this delicious the steak one. And, <laughs> There's nothing better than nothing pulled perverse. pork. You know what? I'm going to get myself some veal because I just love the innocence. <laughs> <laughs> Was it South Park for their tortured baby cows or something? <laughs> See, we can, we, can be, have, we can be dark. Yeah. All that fear just adds to the flavor. <laughs> I mean, presumably fear is a flavor. <laughs> like sweat, literally. <laughs> I, is this like Daybreakers when he's like, there's one thing that the human blood has that, you know, our substitute doesn't. The taste of fear. <laughs> <laughs> is that that, uh, the, the zombie Ferris Bueller show? No, no, no. That's, uh, so, uh, Daybreakers is about, uh, Ethan Hawke. Yeah, Ethan Hawke. I think it's Ethan Hawk. I don't know. It's <laughs> Ethan Hawk, I believe, and he's Possibly a vampire. Ethan. And they're in a vampire world where humans are um, constantly like having to hide. And it's about uh, them trying to find a substitute for actual human blood because humans are going extinct. Oh. So he's a researcher to find a substitute, but then in it he becomes cured of his vampirism and. Yeah. Fucking what's what's the name of that show then? The because it's on Netflix. I fucking love it. Uh, and, but unfortunately, what Daybreak? Day is it just Daybreak. I think it's Daybreak. Uh, see, I think that's a different show too. Maybe. Now, on, look at us going whipping out the phones, whipping out, whipping out the phones. Come on, Netflix, tell yeah, me Daybreak, what. Daybreak, American comedy drama series. 
Okay, that show is yeah, full of zombies and Mad Max style gangs. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's hilarious because it was uh, it's based off a comic book apparently, a graphic novel or maybe just regular. So novel. I can't breakers. remember, but uh, it's the premise is it's inspired by Fer- Ferris Bueller. And it's amazing because they got Matthew Broderick to play the principal of the school in the show. That's amazing. So, like, they, they purposely made sure that they had the actual Ferris Bueller in the show. And, uh, honestly, I thought it was amazing. Uh, unfortunately, in all fairness, what else is Matthew Broderick doing? True. <laughs> uh, probably Broadway. I was going to oh, say true. Lines of Coke. I, I don't think that's Matthew Broadway. No. Broad, Broadway. Broadway. You were right. Broadway. Not him. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have been able to, you know, Sarah Jessica Parker and stuff, but. What? I, I she has like a massive nose, nose, long face. Did, uh, does, is he, he married, to? married to her? Uh, oh, really? Yeah. I, I did not know that, actually. Know. I don't know if they're still married. I think they got a divorce, but. It's just such a weird pairing. Pairing, yeah. Like, I, the I fact guess. that she's a horse. <laughs> wow <laughs> talk about wow. body shaming Jesus in all honesty though <laughs> I don't know what she looks like Se- she from Sex in the City I've never seen Sex, Sex in the, the city. city I was overseas for the duration of that show. I, I well I never really watched Sex in the City but I did watch uh, Hocus Pocus I don't see the horse thing, but it's from Family Guy. They call her ah, a horse right. a bunch of times. Oh, that's and at one why they feed her a carrot. Oh, jeez, I, hmm? I fucking, I didn't even realize he was making a Family Guy reference. I yep. just thought he was being an asshole. No, nope. I mean, is there a difference? A little bit, yeah, because mm-hmm. Family Guy is the asshole, but you're and he's just the asshole, so you're spreading the asshole. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I Just that long, slow pain note. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to laugh at the fact that you said, if you're referencing the asshole, you're spreading the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. Isn't that work in the sentence? <laughs> well, no, it's funny, because now you have the image of someone pulling the cheeks apart. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It is evocative. I'm sweaty enough oh. right now that I just put a J on you my are forehead. Playing blind land plus for yourself. Yeah, it's Middle Dakota sucks in the summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it, I think everywhere kind of does. To be honest, I I think we're like doing really bad right now. It's it's just been us, uh, and it started it's so. Supposed to, it's supposed to get way worse. Like it's oh, supposed to be like two 54. years ago. With, yeah, fifty four with the humid X. We're we're like uh, our area is just shit. fucking horrible for that shit. Yeah. I'm, I guess I can't really say more without giving away where we are. Yeah. We yeah. can explain why it's terrible, but we don't want to explain why it's terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suffice to say, it's terrible. There there are a lot of things. Well, there's a reason why we will get hit with such a massive amount of hit, like a massive amount of heat, and it's like it will give away the area we're in. Well, also, we can just blame global warming. That's which true. Which is a big part of why our weather has been so fucking shitty. And out of nowhere, we're gonna get all those climate change denials. There's no such thing! There's no proof! There's proof. Lots Even Bill Nye set the world on fire and he basically told you guys that you're not fucking 12 anymore. Yeah, yeah. He he said, fuck you guys. Fuck off. Though it's, unfortunately... The fact that we disappointed Bill Nye that much... <laughs> he got a great fast dealing with people. Like, that had to be strange. The The unfortunate part, uh... Like or the the positive is the ozone layer actually started to heal a little bit yeah. during COVID because no the po- pollution was going down. Like China was almost entirely smog free because no one could really do anything. Yeah. Um, but sadly, that's probably not going to last too long, and then it's going to go. No, they right said through. that all the um, re- like reparations that have happened so far are only temporary, and the moment we all go back to normal, well, it'll be undone. It's just going to exactly back the other way. Is, which is exactly what I was going to say. However, I will say this. Along the highway, I see a lot more wildlife. So... Yeah, that's fair enough. Because I do drive the highway every day for work, so... Oh, I thought you were going to make some sort of native joke. No. Oh. <laughs> I should have. I totally should have. I really, yeah. It's, it's going to be a good hunting although, season. For the native, show, uh, so, although, highways, <laughs> although highway and native jokes... 
We're Don't not we attributing to the Highway of Tears. Just saying. Yeah. Ugh. And you have no idea what that is. I, I, I don't. I don't keep up with I the mean, news. I mean, you have long hair. <laughs> I, sadly... How does anyone know that? <laughs> um, sadly, I, I don't keep up with the news as best I can. My, all my news source comes actually from my roommate. That one's pretty uh, dark. So the Highway of Tears is basically where there's been a bunch of uh, indigenous women who have been kidnapped or murdered or gone missing and so on oh, and the they base the police basically just go highway of tears case and ignore it oh what yeah oh. well, we're, we're probably going to touch on a couple cases at some point i thought about doing an entire episode on the highway of tears but i don't know if i would be able to fit all that information into one episode it's just what about just winnipeg uh that's pretty brutal. The main center of it, though, is actually, like, Alberta and B.C. So. I just met Winnipeg and how they do with names. Yes, yeah. That's that alone Winni- in the, the Winnipeg... Winnipeg in uh, but we're already middle gonna be Dakota. Doing, we're already going to be doing a Winnipeg... <laughs> we're going to be doing a Winnipeg case at some point on the... Uh, on the decapitation one that happens, so... Like That's that. Winnipeg, Canada, with the de- decapitation. Yeah. The Winnipeg uh, other thing that's Middle Dakota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. You know, so you just part reference of- Middle Dakota for the eminently traceable one, and then for the one that is vague, you hit. You did it backwards. <laughs> what did I do? Ugh. You hit the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize that you've backed up entirely from the mic now. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know what you're talking don't about. about. You're you're you you are a fool yeah, and a liar and a con cheap. man. Ah. You know what? We should we should we should probably we should play a board game sometime. Like I'm sure there's a couple of like verbal board games we could play. Yeah, uh, I think that could be fun. Um, wait, what? Just the concept of the verbal board game suggests you don't need a board. Like. Like something uh, you can hear on. I I call I say board games in general, but like there are games that are car. That yeah, are I know what you based. mean. It's like yeah. a, it wasn't because of what you said, just this like the sentence structure. Uh yeah. Uh like I have a game called Snake Oil, and it's about pitching random cool. products. Like that could be hilarious for this. Fiasco type of comes game. to mind too. What fiasco? I don't think I've played that or heard of it. Never heard of fiasco. No. Basically. People run a scenario, roll a die to see how well you do for the outcome, and then you just verbalize a story based on your outcome, and you can just dictate whatever you want. So, D&D? Yes, but without a very, very simplified version of D&D, without the fantasy, like it's Oh, so it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure yes, story absolutely. with with, uh, with minus stats. Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. That actually would be pretty fun. I could, I would actually really enjoy that. Uh, uh, just to let you know, um, there is a case that I have in mind that I'm going to be doing that is to be wrestling oriented, and I think I'm going to probably like have some sort of call happening with Adam Contant from back in North Bay. Oh, sweet! Uh, yeah, um, honestly, we should we should uh, we should chat him up and everything. He wanted me to. Uh, he wanted to, him and I. He wanted to do a segment on his show. At one point, uh, where we looked at wrestling and other media, and because I'm not like a big wrestling fan, it would work out because you're the outside. Like I'd be the video games, the anime, that type that's, of stuff. That's the whole point of what I'm trying to do with this episode is because two of you aren't really into wrestling, whereas yeah. I am, and Adam's a wealth of knowledge on this. So I'll pull this case up, and uh, we can actually discuss the case, even though it's more well known in the wrestling culture. It'd be kind of neat to tell the story. And see the reaction of somebody who's never heard this story before, and the fact yeah. that it's a completely different thing. Kind could, of thing. We, could we actually like get him here? And uh, I actually thought about it. I'm also so I have vacation time saved up, and oh, we go to him. Yeah, part of my thought process because the show that we normally go to is canceled. Um, oh, oh it's, it's so been officially canceled. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, or postponed. Uh, yeah, postponed till next year. Basically, probably next year. He's hoping for the end of the year, but he's hoping for like sometime this year. But I don't think it's going to happen. No, it's exactly a lot of people were not comfortable with going. You don't need to iterate everything he says, Jesus. <laughs> you seem unaware of the basics. I uh, like yeah. what? What are you so, talking about? I'm asking him. He's giving me stuff, and then you're just like. This little thing. It's like, okay, he's I'll telling me. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, because that show has been postponed, um, 
I mentioned to Adam about having that, and I also mentioned to our friend about going up and speaking, like, and I don't know, seeing him and filming a couple segments. Oh, we can if you want. I don't know. It depends how personal we're going to get, really. Uh, uh, no, no, it's fine. But uh, the the point is, in well, the long run, we... so Adam has a Adam has his own show, uh, like his own podcast, and he's very open. He doesn't do the wrestling one anymore. He now does like a financial one. Okay. All so, right, because he he's. Um... He's a financial advisor. Yeah, he's so tra- yeah, he's converted to that. Yeah. yeah. So, because it of that, like it's a religion. <laughs> I know. He's converted I converted from wrestling to financial kind of advisor. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, and I say cunnilingus like it's a language. I'm a cunnilinguist. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Thank you. But probably not with that. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm, I'm actually really good. So, um, anyways, because he stopped his show and. Uh, the other people that were involved with the show went off to do their own projects, and he's doing his financial advisor one. I did want to reach out to him and find out if he wanted to do it, and that might actually work out, because if I go up and... Because I assume that if I'm going up, you're coming with, because you have yeah, family yeah. and so on. So uh, the assumption is that you'll come up with uh, come up with me, and we could probably just sit down and do the show. Um, so and I, uh, yeah, which is fine because he would be he would be the guest person. Yeah, he would be replacement. Though. Yeah, and we, we we always treat you like you're you're Spend the guy it. who just showed up <laughs> on the and street. Yeah, play video games throughout the entire. Day. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. He's been playing Pokemon Go <laughs> on two cell phones this entire show. Yeah, that's what Token does when I'm telling the story. By the way. Yep. Yeah, and yeah, it's 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 actually hilarious. My son likes Pokemon. <laughs> He, he does it for his son. <laughs> what a, what a great dad you're. I think I'm doing all right. Actually, I think you are a pretty good dad. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's the assumption is that we're gonna do that, but that could work out if we decide to go up and do it. Um, our friend also wants to film a couple segments and so on, so I don't mind doing Who's that. <coughs> our friend that does the show. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Right, That's why we... I don't mind saying Adam because he, he already has a show. Versus... Oh, your friend does not. Yeah, it's a private show. We're friends. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're we're avoiding name yeah. dropping them. Yeah, and even Adam on his show, he uses a different moniker entirely now. So. That's that's fair. Well, yeah, I think I think I'm the only one of this group who sort of goes by his like well, full real name. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. It, like, it's, it's serviceable to you. <laughs> yeah, but we don't say your full name. Yeah, it's true. That's why I said sort of. Um, I don't really go by my middle name. Do they have access to your like Instagram and all that? Because for them, it's all there. I don't. No, I don't have Instagram. Oh, okay. Oh well, I don't know. You mentioned and, some sort. Of no, I was I was talking about Twitter. Twitter. Twitter, okay. Yeah. I, I I still need to clean that up. Um, and the uh, and it's it's I'm Jay West Seymour on that, but like not my not the thing that they would type in to find me the uh, at thing. It's, but you are identifiable as yeah, yeah. It's just be Jay West Seymour. Yeah. I think only facebook you can find my full name but even then i don't even think that's the case anymore no it says j west secord though no i mean like you can find it under um like previous like other names and i don't stuff know like that. i don't think so but maybe maybe because when the page when the page is originally made or something like that do, do you you know my first name yep oh okay cool i because you kept telling me not to say it so I was like, okay, right, I oh, yeah say fair it. enough fair enough well i know you know it because you were there Yes. When, at uh, he was there when was, you were born. <laughs> yeah, he was there when I was born. That's I was there pillaging the hospital. We we were we were switched at birth. Um... <laughs> Nobody noticed. Uh, <laughs> that makes so much sense. <laughs> Explains why my parents are are a very different race Is that from why myself. My dad drank. <laughs> 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 and they all think you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. Uh, I'm surprised this sticks so well to my forehead. It is atrociously humid. I'm sure it would stick to me. Yeah, here, do you want you want a you want a letter? This has gotten very dirty. Here, here's your here's a letter. Oh, what a surprise! What letter it is? Can I get a U while we're at it? <laughs> uh, sure. Let's find let's find a U. He's just he's just putting it up there to sit, show that he's following you. <laughs> to, to, to kill me later. It's just 
pretty Possibly. stocky. I can't find a U, so... Oh, no, nope, there's one. <sighs> Anyways. I now have F U on my forehead. <clears throat> broadcasting my feelings to I've him. also mentioned to my brother that he, like... Because he mentioned something about how if he's on the show with us, he can actually record both mic feeds from his computer or something using an application. So you that's what he's been needing. I don't know. I don't I know you what still need an interface. But... Yeah, this we're is this is it. the fun stuff for the bonus episodes. People are gonna definitely think this content's worth it. Well, we first talked about magicians and such, so I'm just saying it started the admin, good. The admin is less useful. Yeah, I, you know what? It, in all fairness, this is probably like the first time we're doing it, and so we're not really sure. We didn't really have anything prepped for the bonus episode. So. Yeah, yeah. I, you're, you're the only one who preps at all. This is true. <laughs> I, I prep a little bit. I, I was the one who came up with that intro and all I that shit. I brought food. That's my prep. <laughs> well, F, I can't see the you other letter. Off. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to sign off this bonus episode for now. I'm yeah, we're yeah, Okay, fine. We're off <laughs> <and you're laughs> <relevant rails. laughs> You guys.